According to the latest meta-analysis of studies, the training volume that maximizes strength development seems to be a lot lower than the training volume that maximizes muscle hypertrophy. For strength development, there seem to be minimal benefits to doing more than 10 sets per week per exercise, including exercises that overlap with the exercise that you want to get stronger at. For muscle growth, however, the number of sets per week that we have to do to maximize our gains seems to be well over 20, probably over 30, and possibly even over 40. There was no clear evidence of a true plateau, and especially no evidence of detrimental effects of higher training volumes. More contractile mass should logically increase force production. So muscle growth should improve strength development. Why is it then that we don't see this in this study? One trending explanation is that the additional hypertrophy from higher training volumes is just swelling. It's water retention, it's edema from muscle damage that takes place when you do higher volume workouts. Higher training volumes induce more muscle damage and it's the muscle damage that causes the water retention and the edema. In exercise science studies, muscle growth is usually measured 48 to 72 hours after the last workout. The muscles might still be swollen from the last workout. However, the vast majority of these studies are in untrained individuals. Untrained individuals are by definition doing a workout that they are not familiar with. What do we see in trained individuals? If we look at studies on how long it takes for edema to subside after a workout, and we look specifically at trained individuals doing workouts with exercises that they are presumably familiar with, then we see that the duration of edema is generally 24 to 72 hours exactly in line with researchers' recommendation to measure muscle growth two to three days after a workout. So all of these findings largely converge to the finding that 72 hours should be ample for researchers to measure muscle size after a workout without a big confounding effect of swelling from that last workout. An additional finding in research that does not align with the idea that higher training volumes just cause more edema instead of actual further contractile muscle growth is that the relationship between training volume and muscle hypertrophy strengthens over time. The longer the study goes, the more clear it becomes that there is indeed a difference between the groups. Strength is influenced very heavily not just by muscle size and other morphological factors, but also very strongly by neurological elements. In particular, the coordination of the movement. Your motor cortex, the part of the brain that governs movement, learns to coordinate muscles better, and it has things like intramuscular coordination, even some intramuscular coordination, that improve as you learn an exercise. It's like riding a bicycle. The body learns how to perform the movement, and that makes you a lot better at it, even if you're not getting more muscular. An analogy I often use is that you can think of strength as the speed a race car drives at. You can make the race car go faster by increasing the size of the engine, which is making the muscles bigger, or you can increase the speed of the race car by having a better driver. That would be a more efficient nervous system. Mwah.